Previously on 41 Garage and Grill. We're headed to Silver Lake, Michigan, and look who's taking us there. It's a major accomplishment for the Rowdy Girl. She made it all the way up to Michigan. We are all aired down, we're moving forward. This area over here, where you can park your car across this LJ here. The 400EX. Lovely Bronco. I don't think the police were ever called us, so <laughs> no, no ambulances, so let's see what happens. Morning! Um, so, it's Thursday. We're trying to figure out what to do, and I think we're going to head up to Ludington State Park and go to the Big Sable Lighthouse. We got our coffee and the weather's beautiful and we're ready to go. Just about to the lighthouse at Ludington State Park. Big the Sable Lighthouse. Big Sable, Big Sable? Big Sable Lighthouse, because then down by Pentworth there's a Little Sable Lighthouse. Okay, so and supposedly you can go up in this thing, so if we can, we will. I'm trying to get uh, Pam to bungee jump off of it. Yeah, you know you're going to push that button. I want to. Do it. It matches on the way up, especially taller guys. Watch your heads. Okay. Is this going to do well? Let off and then all of a sudden you're your head. All right. So we're 133 steps up. Away we go. What, what, I'm sorry. What year did they say this was built? Uh, 1867. Lots, a lot of this stuff got approved. And, but not funded prior to the Civil War, so they ended up building a lot of lighthouses okay. around that same era. That's cool. Well, it was a hell of a climb, but we made it. <laughs> We're definitely out of breath. Yeah. We're old. It was really, really cool. I mean, the view is just amazing. I just, I can't believe it. What year did he say it was built? I think 1836 or 1837. 18 something. 1830 something, yeah. And then in 1968, it was replaced by automation. Yeah. So, no more keepers. Yeah. That's what was replaced. The people were replaced by automation, so. Yeah. Lighthouse. We're trying to figure out what to do next, so we came into Ludington at work, and we are at House of Flavors, and so they have like regular food, and then they have ice cream, and I guess they're really known for their ice cream. Um, so Life Magazine in 1953 had a picture of the place on here. And I guess that the straws, the wrappings that straws used to come in, kids found out that if you dip them in, in the malt and you blew them up toward the ceiling, they would stick. And so the owner would try to knock them down and then he'd just come in the next day and there'd be you know, more up there. So the story on here says, now he, he's resigned to having his place look like a subterranean grotto hung with stalactites. Um, because just kids keep doing it and now he's, they're known for that. So we're going to go check it out in a little bit. First we're going to eat and uh, I'm going to get ice cream. Now you know you don't take a 30 year old Jeep 300 and some miles without having some issues. So we are definitely having a minor issue. The uh, gasket, let's see, the head gasket, not the head gasket, the exhaust gasket is leaking uh, pretty severely. So we went to the local Napa, got a new one. My awesome friend Glenn over here, I'm gonna put him to work. I don't know what he charges per hour, but hopefully it's not that much. I'm going to change that out. Alright, you can tell we got our lovely header gasket replaced and we're out for a ride in the dunes. Let's see how this goes. 
right in is usually pretty rough, a lot of uh, sand whoops. But once we get out on the dunes, it'll be a lot better. So here we go. And we stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, that that one single one, yeah. Hey, you gonna? Are you going with Connie? Here. Should I go with me? No. But can I put this in there with you? Hey, give me you my phone. Bring it down like this No. I won't guarantee anything I'll make it. I can always back down. Don't you know. do that with me. I'm a little afraid. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Watch your knees. I don't know. You think Should I'm going to uh, be too I'm much weight? Stay here. I'm going to weigh you down too much? <laughs> I won't guarantee you anything. <laughs> okay, hit it before she has a chance to change her mind. <laughs> Maybe we should just stay here. Here we go. You got a I might just stay here. Too late, you're in. Let's go. Don't give her a chance to change her mind. <laughs> got her on? Yeah. I don't guarantee you'll make her or not. Well, can, can we? Okay, here we go. Here. Can I just stay here? Can I just stay here? We're gone. Oh my god. You'll be fine. You're going to go up and down the valley? Is that what you're doing? Hey, I'm going to try going to the steep part. Oh. What? <laughs> you're not, Glenn. Are you? Try to. No. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Glenn. Oh, my God. Glenn. Oh, you got it. That was easy. Oh, it made it look God. easy. Want to go another one? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's addicted. Oh. I'm thinking, like, did you guys hear Pam screaming? <laughs> was that Pam? <laughs> no, it was me. <laughs> Okay, the uh, fix was successful. We are uh, done on the dunes to finish the day off. Uh, I was scared going up the dunes, but Glenn did an awesome job getting us right. up the hill. Yeah, exactly. it was fun actually. I would have gone back a second time. And we didn't take the rowdy girl up because she uh, has to get us home. Yeah. And she had a minor <laughs> meltdown, as you saw. So. Even though it wasn't major, we don't want to push our luck too much because we want to make it home. Friday morning, got the Jeep loaded up. It's been raining all morning and tomorrow is supposed to be bad weather. So we are going to uh, start heading south, see how far we can get today and uh, try to avoid driving in the bad weather tomorrow. Another pit stop here. We're just south of, uh, I'm sorry, we're just north of New Holland, Michigan. Um, we loaded up with blueberries at the last place and evidently Pam wants to see what they have here. Um, so we're here, we're gonna check it out. It's a good little break, but uh, trip down here has been pretty quiet. All right, we're in South Bend. Uh, it is now seven o'clock. We still got two and a half hours. So we're just going to go grind out these last couple hours of driving. Got a load of uh, Starbucks for the ride home. Um, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe. Give me a like. Give me a dirty thumbs up. Something. Uh, a dirty thumbs up. Some kind of thumbs up. What? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a clean thumbs up. Uh, put a comment below. Um, 
Silver Lake was pretty cool. Uh, we really enjoyed that. And uh, anyways, uh, until the next time, we'll see ya. Boom! Tell me why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just can't be without you, baby. Won't you all night long? Won't you all night long? Tell me why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just can't be without you, baby. Won't you all? Just hey.